I made a 1 out of 10,000 guess and was correct on the first try. Anyone else break the universe with super unlikely things? I was ordering food at Sonic with my wife and a friend one time and my bud who was in the back seat wanted me to order and pay for him. He gave me his debit card and I asked if he wanted to punch his PIN number or if he wanted to do it. He said I could do it. So I asked his PIN. He told me to guess it. So... Me? Um? 8? 5? 4? 2? Um? Not really the number. Friend. Hop the fuck are you freaking serious? Me? What? Friend. You just guessed my PIN number. What the hell man? I really didn't believe him until it was time to pay and I typed in the numbers I had guessed. Surprise. Surprise. They worked and we all jizzed everywhere. If only they were lottery ticket numbers. At a knowledge bowl competition the rules are if you hit the buzzer then they stop asking the question and you have to answer it. The buzzers are also very sensitive. The question comes the first six words. BZZ. A guy on the other team had accidentally hit the buzzer. His eyes got really white and he says oh crap. Uh, uh. It was the best of times. Bam right answer. All three teams were stunned. Oh man. I love Quiz Bowl for that. I was at a competition in high school, and we were winning handily, so we were getting a little cocky and pretty much competing against our teammates rather than the other team. As a result, buzzers were being hit earlier and earlier. Finally, the questioner starts off with this cherik and I buzz in. Out of nowhere, I threw out the big bad wolf. The questioner looked at me open mouth and our team celebrated like only a bunch of nerdy high schoolers could. And finally, 4-5 bonus point to take you into the lead. Who's been tampering with my question cards? BZZZT. Me? It was me. I was picking up lunch for my office. As opposed to looking for parking, I found a meter that was right in front. I never use meters if I can help it. Mostly, because I don't have any change. So I park and run inside hoping this lunch pickup would take just a minute this restaurant was notoriously speedy. Of course, they were running late this time. And of course, in the split second I turn my head. A bicycle cop finds my car and starts writing the ticket. I run outside and start weaving a tale about how I definitely put in money and am so surprised it ran out so quick and to please look the other just this once. The cop looks at me and the conversation goes as follows. Him? Once I start writing I have to give the ticket. Me? Come on. I definitely put in money and it ran out so quick. Him? Well, did the meter fail? That's the only way I can tear up the ticket. Me? Yes. It failed. That's what happened. Of course. Him. Prove it. Figuring I had nothing to lose I said. Sure. I had to run inside the restaurant to get change. Cause I had none in the first place. I get a dime and run out to the waiting cop and say watch this. As soon as my dime goes into the meter. The screen flashes fail. There was absolutely nothing wrong with this meter before I put the dime in. I figured I lied so hard I changed the universe. The cop tore up the ticket. That's pretty damn spectacular. This is my new favorite. There's a newish subreddit that was started a few months back about stories and experiences that point towards us being in the matrix. I think this would fit nicely in that subreddit. If only I could remember it. Early in our relationship, my husband and I took a walk on a clear, starry night. He put his arm around me, looked up at the stars, and said something like, I love you so much. If I could, I'd make a shooting star just for you to wish on. Right there. And he pointed at the sky. Immediately afterwards, a shooting star appeared exactly where he pointed. Know it. I had to marry him, because clearly he was some sort of wizard. Guy memorizes when next meteor shower is. Wins girl's heart. I'd make a shooting star just for you to wish on. Right there. And there. And there. 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 There 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 there. I had an icebreaker for an attractive girl I saw. The icebreaker was to guess the date of her birth and say I'm an expert. This obviously shouldn't work. I've never tried it before, so I guess, June 24th, what do you know, spot on date, I called bullet, she showed me an I, D, correct day, luckily she didn't think I was a creep, for my expression myself was out of amazement, and I've never tried the trick again, so I have a 100% success rate at guessing attractive woman's birthdays, this is my birthday and you sound remarkably like my ex from your comment history, I'm a creep, sue me. I know this isn't even about me, but I'm just going to convince myself that it's a possibility. P, you're so vain. I bet you think this post is about you. I'm in Canada. I was 15 years old and came home from school for a Christmas break. My mother said, you will never guess who we got a Christmas card from. I said, 
that little motel we stayed in on our way to Detroit last summer. She just stared at me in disbelief. I was right, but I don't know why I thought of that. That wasn't a stare of disbelief. She was actually going to say it was from your real dad, but she changed her mind when she realized she could lie. Do it E. Went to Vegas with my wife. She didn't quite get the rules of roulette. She saw the $20 minimum and thought the whole 10 had to be played on one bet. She bets $20 on 27 and wins $700 in her first play in Vegas. We ate well the rest of the weekend. 10? You mean 20? 10 is Vegas slang for bet. That's not true. I just made that up. I believed it. And so did I. I even reread it with that in mind and it totally made sense. And a named man and I have ran into each other approximately 20 times in my life. I'm 23. I really don't know this guy, but I have ran into him at least 12 or so times I can specifically remember, and there's other times that I just can't pinpoint. The first time I remembered seeing him again was at Disneyland when I was about 9. Since then, I have seen him in the most random places, like Disneyland another time, Niagara Falls, a camping spot somewhere in Nevada when I was about 14, the LA County Zoo, and a racetrack in Colorado about 4 years ago. We both recognize each other, but never acknowledge. I will always remember seeing him in Seo, because we both gave each other a look of complete disbelief. I hope to one day see him again, and see if he has taken note of all of our encounters like I have, and maybe get to know him. No homo, but with situations like these it seems more than the appropriate thing to do at it. Aside from running into him at random stores, another one was at a movie theater in Vegas. Don't remember which one exactly, but it's literally on the inside of a casino. And who knows, maybe we'll never see each other again until our last day. Making a moment of eye contact right before we collide head on in a car crash. Epic. A friend of mine growing up had a similar situation. There was a kid that was at almost every vacation spot he went to. He told me about it when we were 15. We went camping with his parents and he pointed to the kid. Who ran away in terror. We chased him down. Not in a bullying way. We were skinny nerds. And my friend finally caught up and started talking to him. We all socialize for a good 10 minutes before we decide their parents have to meet. This kid is a huge part of my friend's life story and no one believes him. We go to find the parents. Long story short, turns out my friend's parents were a swinger couple and they'd been meeting the same couple for years at vacation spots, but were secretive about their sexual exploits. And, for the kicker, that kid could have been my friend's half-brother. No paternity tests were ever given, because neither couple cared who was the biological father. So yeah. World is a strange place. Sometimes the explanations are stranger than the fabrications. Well, that took an interesting turn. I was going to post the whole awkward meeting and nervous laughter bit, but decided to cut it short to the meat of the story, also known as the swinging part, because that's the meat of the story. As it were, the swinging meat, yes. At my junior high school, the containers for recycling aluminum cans had a flap on top, so you could easily reach in and pull something out. One day, while waiting in line next to one, 8th grade me made the comment, how cool would it be if I just reached in, and pulled out a full soda, and then I reached in, grabbed the first can I felt, and proceeded to pull out an unopened can of orange soda. The two people around me in line looked at me like I was a wizard. In middle school my best friend and I called each other every evening just to shoot the it, talk girls or update on our Max Payne and GTA playthroughs. Not one, but two different times. I picked up the phone to call him to hear no dial tone. Hello. It was my buddy who had called at the exact same time and I had actually answered without the phone ever ringing. We never had any sort of plan or schedule just whenever we were fine with dinner and homework or whatever. True bromance that lasts till this day. LOL. This happened to me and my best friend so many times when I was growing up. Awesome feeling, ain't it? This happened to me once with cell phones. I had to call my dad and right when I click send my phone starts ringing with him calling me, but my phone was tripping balls since it was simultaneously sending and receiving a phone call from the same person. Eventually the calls drop and I call him back confirming we had indeed called each other at the same time. Recently, I was playing poker with some friends. I had the queen and ten of spades in my hand. Then, after the first three cards, the king, ace and jack also turned up. So, yeah royal flush. I was then accused of cheating, so it was given to someone else to shuffle, and another royal flush came up for me, this time with hearts, and the chance of one is one, 2,598,960, so it's either one, 
5,197,920 or 1, 6 trillion 754 billion 593 million 82,000. I got a chick on Omegle once. My dad works at the Federal Reserve in Washington and it was take your kid to work day. Before we actually got to see the coolant in the Fed, believe me, there is some, we all had to sit in this really nice room and get some presentation on the economy and stuff. For some reason they had someone talking about the environment and it, and I was like 8 or 9 I didn't even care. She asked how many gallons of water are wasted from leaky sink each year and I randomly raised my hand and say 52. She was all like, yeah good job, a future environmentalist here. But I don't even know why I raised my hand. I hadn't listened to a single word she said, bitch gave me a stress ball shaped like the earth. Best day ever. Bitch gave me a stress ball shaped like the earth. I don't know why, but I cracked up when I read that. I was literally crying before I managed to calm myself. It seems like you had a 50-50 shot. You were either going to guess right, or you were going to guess wrong. 50-50. Checkmate. Self. This is the logic of gambling addicts. What is maths? Baby don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. I drew 5 cards off the top of the deck. 2 of diamonds, 7 of clubs, 6 of hearts J of hearts, 4 of spades. The odds of me drawing those exact cards are about 1 in 650,000, but I did it on my first try. Interesting factoid, Captain Wankbeard. Me making my username R99. I mean there are probably quadrillions of possibilities. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video please smash the like button and leave a comment which story you liked the most. Subscribe and hit the bell notification for updates on our latest videos. And don't forget to check the links in the description box for more awesome content.